Running. In the dictionary it is defined as moving along faster than walking by taking quick steps in which each foot is lifted before the next foot touches the ground. So the moment I start moving faster with just one foot touching the ground at a time, I have ran every single day for 1000 days in a row. That feels a bit crazy to be able to say, but to be honest, over the last 999 days, this habit has become so strong within myself, so it would actually feel super weird to not go out and run at all for a whole day. So, let's just start moving. <laughs> That's it, I have ran every day for 1000 days. And besides you getting to join me on this 1000 day celebration run, in this video I will talk about how running every day has changed my life. And by the end of the video I will reveal for how much longer I plan to continue this streak. And I will also talk about for how long I have ran in terms of distance over these last 1000 days. Okay, so has running every day changed my life? And if so, how? Let's just look at the before picture of me before I started with this daily habit. So this is me 1000 days ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you couldn't tell, that before picture is fake. Sorry about that, but that is what many people seem to assume when I talk about running every day. Previous videos I made on this topic have gotten so many comments asking how much weight I lost uh, during this time. And the truth is that I haven't lost any weight during this period of my life. I weighed the exact same. And that's not a bad thing, because before starting with this daily habit, I was happy with my weight. And I think it's pretty healthy and it allows me to run pretty fast. So running every day has never been about losing weight for me. And although many people seem to focus on the calories you burn from running, there are so many other reasons for incorporating at least a little physical activity each day. And then running is a great way of doing that. For some, of course, getting into running can play an important role in a weight loss journey. But for me, this was never the case. So has starting every single day with a run still changed my life, even if I look pretty much the same? Well, yes, I'm convinced it has, is the short answer. I think that this kickstart to the day has changed my life for the better in so many ways. Of course, I will never know where I would have been in life if I didn't start with this habit, but I'm pretty sure that I'm in a better place in many parts of my life than I would have been if I didn't start running every single day. I truly believe that we are a product of the small things we do each day. So running 15 minutes for one day will of course not change your life in any dramatic ways. But running 15 minutes every single day for three years will most probably change your life to the better in many ways. For me starting the days like this has given me such a great momentum into the workday and I'm sure I wouldn't be where I'm at in my career as a coach and filmmaker if I didn't make sure to at least go for a short run each morning. And I'm sure I wouldn't be in the same physical or mental shape as I am in today if I didn't make this into a priority during some of the most stressful and hectic years of my life. With many things in life, I think the hardest part, at least for me, is to start. So by giving myself such a great start into each day, it makes it easier to keep the momentum and continue being productive through the day. But of course, even if I run every day, I, as you and everybody else, have bad days. And the good thing with creating strong habits like this for yourself that you take seriously is that even if everything else goes bad for a whole day, at least you got a run in. And there are so many studies showing what running and being physical active does to our mood and our brains. So I'm sure that even those bad days become a bit better if you can force yourself to go out there and move one foot in front of the other quickly. 
So yeah, running every single day has changed my life. And it's cool to think about all of these small, both good and bad things we do each day. And how they slowly but surely change the whole trajectory of our lives and the people we become. So this makes me think about what things I maybe should start doing over the next 1000 days and what things I should stop doing. So 1000 days is a pretty cool number. Should I be satisfied with this and quit my running streak today? A while ago I talked with Jonne from the YouTube channel Unlace Away. If you don't know about him and you like training and cool adventure content, you should really check out his uh, channel. But anyway, when I talked with him, he asked me this. Are you going to keep running until... What point? Do you have a set, set number of days or...? Uh... I really don't see any... And then like like reason to stop having it as a daily routine that I just uh, do and it's a part of my life has made it uh, a lot easier especially nowadays with uh, small kids uh, at home and a lot of work then uh, I, I at least know that I will get in my short run every day and that I will make time and prioritize that because it makes me so much better in everything else that I do and it uh, makes me uh, in general more happy and, and better version of myself so so no I, I don't have any plans to to stop or haven't set any uh, any date for me running is a it's a lifelong thing and if something happens that means uh, some injury or some problems that means that i i can't physically run i will try to find a good replacement like swimming or biking and, and just just move my body because i know how much good it does for me like your story also inspires me to try and do that because i feel like the main thing would just be to go out every morning and to either walk run or cycle but like to do that pretty much first thing in the morning because uh, it's just uh, like a very very good way to start your day so yeah hopefully i will be able to keep my running streak for many years to come and if something happens that forces me to take a short break i see no real problem with that and I will just start again as soon as my body is ready. I really think that people need to start to see health changes as something you work hard to keep as permanent changes you make to live a happier and longer and more fulfilled life. And not as a quick fix or a diet you should follow for two months to get your dream body. Because then what? <laughs> to me, it is really important to try to build these strong habits, like this one I have with running every day, that I can keep for hopefully most of my life. This also means that your habits and your way of training and eating need to be sustainable. Maybe you can do extreme hard workouts every single day for a week, but most probably not for a lifetime. So I think that most people that train for health reasons actually should lower their bar of what counts as a good workout. This will make you able to enjoy it more and do it more often. And by the end it will mean your total training time will be a lot higher than if you go on training really hard for some weeks and then have to take months off because you don't have the motivation to keep that kind of training up for longer periods of uh, time. For example, with these daily morning runs I do, I set the bar as going out just for 10 minutes doing very easy jogging. And some days that is all I do. But most days I end up doing a lot more. Over these last 1000 days I have ran a total of 8786 kilometers or 5459 miles. To put those numbers a bit into perspective I measured it out on a map and that's the same distance as it is from here in Norway to LA. So that I think is pretty cool. It took me 1000 days but the act of just going out for at least a short run every day made me run that far. And my daily average over these last 1000 days is 8.7 kilometers or 5.4 miles. Now I will continue enjoying my 1000 run day in a row. But if you like this video it's always highly appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see the video where I explain why I started with this daily habit in the first place you can click here. 
as always, thanks for watching, train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.